you know, 2000 Buddha fans have got to go there and hopefully, hopefully roars onto a victory, but you know what it is, it's, it's hard to see now. I can't take it at Norwich, I can't stand Norwich, it's that club that just irritates me. Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Just a little quick video, really nothing too crazy. Uh, a few transfer rumours, a little bit of paper talk coming out of Middlesbrough over the uh, weekend. Ben Gibson. Uh, everybody knows of the name Ben Gibson, of course, you know, came through the Borough Academy and um, played for a number of years at Middlesbrough, of course, then, you know, um, sort of a big money move for him at the time. Uh, went out to Burnley, Sean Dyche. Um, never really got... Never really got started, did he? Never really hit the ground running either. On his debut, I'm pretty sure he scored, or did he score an old goal, get sent off or something? Um, and inside the Premier League, I think he's only got one or two goals. He's hardly had a chance, really. Um, but who can blame the sort of back line of Burnley's, you know, you know, I mean, it's Tarkovsky's in there, Ben Mee's in there. It's a bit of Ben Gibson sort of squeezed into that squad. Although I do think he's got the ability, I do think he's a good player. You know, them two lads have both played for England. You can argue Ben Gibson has as well, but he's only sat on the bench. These lads have actually started games for England. So, you know, two England internationals, um, more so Tarkovsky. Um, and that's probably why Ben, ben Gibson hasn't got in the squad. But he has got in the squad. He's done okay. You know, he's had the Premier League. You know, he hasn't done horrendous. He's done okay. But future for him at Burnley it isn't looking so bright, unfortunately, for him. But Middlesbrough Football Club are interested in him. We do want him back. On a loan basis, which might be the best really, given that he hasn't played a ton of games. Will he be 100% match fit? We don't really know. But one thing, one thing I can say is, of course, Ben Gibson has been training with Middlesbrough now um, for a few months, to be fair. Um, and, it's you know, it's a player that I would take back. Um, you know, I saw Ben as a leader. Okay, he did lack a few attributes and so, so you know, sort of pace-wise. But apart from that, really, if I was defending, uh, you know, also, you know, his defensive awareness... His leadership skills, they're all there. So Ben Gibson at the back, alongside Grant Hall. I would take Ben Gibson back. Um, I really, really would. I think Dale Fry as well. I feel like he plays a lot better alongside Ben Gibson. I felt like he did before Ben Gibson left. Now, does that mean that Dale Fry will go out on loan? I don't I don't know. Having thought about it recently, I don't think we'll probably put Dale Fry out on loan. I think he'll probably be 100% inside of Neil Warnock's plans. Although there has been transfer rumours that Dale Fry will be going to Burnley. Shef uh, Sheffield United defender could be going to Burnley. So there's that sort of thing where I think maybe his borough have told Burnley, look, uh, OK, don't transfer for Ben Gibson if it means that Dale Fry is going that way. We'll take Ben back on a loan deal. And then, of course, Burnley going after a Sheffield United defender. And also the other one, very, very exciting name from Cardiff City, Junior Hoylett. Neil Warnock loves him so, so much. And for me personally, he's always caused Borough problems. And every play against Cardiff, he's always got, got us. He's always back at us, Junior Hoyler. He's a nightmare to play against. But tell you what, put him on the Borough side of the wing. And I absolutely love him for life. So, Junior Hoyler is another name that could potentially be coming inside the door. I also heard a rumour about Keith for a mirror. He's basically looking at Borough and also Cardiff City now for a, you know, you know, for sort of like a move away. He has turned down two clubs, one being Millwall. And now he's weighing up his options, whether or not to move to a Middlesbrough or move to Cardiff City. I take him a butter, although I do think Britain Fletcher are just as good as what he is. Uh, but as for Junior Hoylett, yeah, massively take him uh, inside a butter shirt. He's quick, he's pacey, he's a fantastic winger. Uh, you know, he brings a lot of energy to his game as well. So, yeah, Junior Hoylett, I take at Middlesbrough, alongside Ben Gibson, of course. And, uh, you know, I'd love to see them two lads come in. Of course, Grant Hall's already come in. He's already training, you know, trying to get himself settled inside the squad, which I'd love to see myself. Uh, very, very interesting press conference from him. Um, he seemed like he's just determined, you know, trying to get Butter back to the top flight. Uh, and that's exactly what I want to see from the players, to be honest with you. You know what I mean? Like, as soon as I sign for the Butter, you know, if their attitude is inside the right place, um, you know, if they're willing to go to work with Neil Warnock, um, and you know, you know, play for the badge every single week, 110%, get them signed off the line. So glad that Grand Hall's here. There's still no confirmation uh, or any words, should I say, on the contracts between Marvin Johnson and uh, George Friend. Be interesting to see what happens this week coming. Um, you know, will we have an answer for their contracts? Who knows? But as I say, they are the transfer rumours and uh, possible possible transfer rumours that could be penned into paper. So who knows? I say, you know, if you know of any more, comment down below. Let's have a chance to have the comment section. Check out my social medias. Link inside the description. And people out there, 99 away from 3,000 subscribers. Hit that red button. It's completely free. It only takes you literally two seconds to do so. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Have a good day. Have a good rest of your weekend. Have a good rest of your Sunday.
Peace out.